Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are joining me for the first time today. My name is Lucy if you've never seen me before and today I created this really beautiful blue and purple sort of look using some of my new Huda Beauty products. So I did receive these literally a few days ago as I'm filming this and basically I just put some of the products to the test in this video. So if you do want to see what I used or how I created this look then please do keep watching. So as always I have already started with my brows done just because um but I don't really have an excuse, I just wanted to do them off camera. But they're already done now, so let's just move on to the eyeshadow. So I haven't actually primed my eyes yet. I am going to go ahead and use the P. Louise base because this is no secret that this is obviously my favourite base for eyeshadow and it is what I use every single time. So the one I'm using today is in the shade Rumour 1. So I've started doing this thing where I carve out my brows using a really, really, really pale um, concealer or base. So today I actually used the um, P. Louise base in the shade Zero, which is basically their white one. And I just think that it really makes like your brows like pop, if that makes sense. So when you put the eyeshadow on and everything, and then you've got like a really bright under eye, no, not under eye, under brow highlight. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but it just gives a really nice like bright effect. And because I'm not someone who really highlights under my brow bone, I feel like this is um, a good alternative and it's just one less step to think about having to highlight under the brow bone. So that's what I've been doing recently. Okay, so um, as I'm filming this, yesterday I actually received a massive PR box from Huda Beauty, which is so exciting. Obviously they are up there with one of the bigger sort of brands alongside like Anastasia and Morphe and everything like that. So I was so excited that they reached out to me and asked to put me on their PR list. And I'm so excited to have all of these in front of me. In the package they had, to be honest with you, I'll show you what they sent me. Most of them, this whole package here is lipsticks which I am absolutely buzzing about because I've never tried a Huda Beauty lipstick. I've heard really really great things about their lipsticks so I'm excited to have loads of different colours of that and then I also have in here, I know you won't be able to see anything through the bubble wrap right now but I will be using it and getting it out as I go but in here I've got things like the 3D highlighter palette, I've got the new nude eyeshadow palette, um, some lashes, some easy bake loose powder, um, some of the metal and matte liquid shadows um so just little bits and bobs like that um and then here i have the main thing for me anyway is like the most thing i'm most excited about is the obsessions palette first of all let's just have a look at how amazing this packaging is <gasps> it literally opens out and then there's all of the palettes there so if i go from oh my god there's no way i'm gonna hold that up hold on <laughs> so the first one here i have is the topaz obsessions palette this one I did actually use yesterday, so it is a bit um, dirty, and I did dig my nail into this one by accident, so. But this is the Topaz Obsessions palette. This is obviously really, really warm tones. There's one, two, three, four shimmers and five mattes in here, and I just really love this palette. This is a really nice one for on the go if you're just doing like a warm eye or something like that. The next one here is the Ruby Obsessions palette. So this is obviously red tones and pinks and everything like that. So this one again is a really, really nice one and I really love um, like warm red tones and pinks and everything like that. So this is a really pretty one as well. Then this one here is the Amethyst um, Obsessions palette. This is obviously, as you can tell by the packaging, the purple toned and like plum toned palette. This, oh, okay. <laughs> this one again is really, really stunning. I have swatched a few of these shades in here and they are literally just something else like this is so beautiful i just cannot wait to get this one on my eyes then we have the sapphire obsessions palette which you can tell by the box is the blue tones now this one is really a standout one for me i think having the pop of like the green in there is just really makes all the difference to the palette and this shade here as well is like the most beautiful aqua like blue shade so i'm really excited to dig into this one and have a play around i think i can create some really good looks with this palette so I might use this one today and finally we have the emerald obsessions palette obviously this one is the green palette so again I really really like this palette I like how you can sort of create so many different looks with this small variety of colors because they've got the really dark khaki greens and then they've got the browns and the yellow well yellow golds 
and then the dark green and the light green and so on so i feel like there's so much you can do with this palette um so i do really like that one as well i have absolutely no idea what look i'm going to create today i'm literally going to go with the flow like i do every single time when i film a video but it's okay it mostly it turns out for the best so i'm just gonna literally get started and hope for the best <laughs> So I have actually been doing quite a lot of cooler toned looks with like blues and greens and stuff on my Instagram recently, but I'm just really, really swaying towards these two palettes here. So I kind of want to go for another cool toned look. I really don't know what I'm doing. I think I want to do something using, actually I have literally no idea. I'm just going to pick up a brush and see where it takes me. So firstly, I'm picking up the Sapphire Obsessions palette and I'm going to go in with this shade in the corner. The shades don't have shade names, so I'm just going to have to point to them. Um, but I'm going in with the bright sort of greeny yellow shade and I'm taking that on a Morphe M519 brush and just going to start to buff that into my inner crease. Good thing about these palettes is they have mirrors so I don't have to worry about holding up a separate mirror so that is very very handy for traveling. Okay so I'm packing it on, I'm buffing it in and there's really not a lot coming off the brush here. So I'm kind of disappointed with this shade. I thought it was gonna be such a bright, vivid, you know, pop of color, but it's really, really pale. And I know obviously in the, sh in the pan it does look really pale, but it's honestly barely showing up on my eye at all. So I think I'm just gonna have to start working with a different shade and go over the top of it, unfortunately. So after that shade, I'm intrigued to try the lightest green shade in the Emerald Obsessions palette. So I am gonna take this one again and I'm gonna go just lightly over the top of that color and then buff it slightly out to the edge of where we just put that uh, previous shade. I'm just really intrigued to see how this is gonna perform seeing as the other one didn't perform very well. Okay, yeah, this one's doing the same. <laughs> like, I literally cannot see it on the eye. I know it's a past green color but it's literally just like doing the absolute minimal I was gonna say at the absolute most but it's doing the complete opposite so it's not really doing anything at all okay I don't at all like the way that they have come up on my eye and they are really clinging to my dry patches and at the moment my eyelids are quite dry so I am gonna just take off what I've done so far and I'm just going to start fresh with new shades and everything like that. So I'm hoping this is going to be second time lucky but I am restarting with a fresh sort of eye and canvas. So I'm now going to go into the Sapphire Obsessions palette again but I'm going to pick up this turquoise colour here. Hopefully this one's going to have a bit more payoff and not look as dry on my eye but I'm just hoping for the best. That's more like it. There's the payoff I was hoping for. Now I'm going to start working on the outer corner using the bottom shade right in the middle. This is a really vivid sort of royal blue and I'm taking a Makeup Addiction pencil brush and I'm going to pack that onto the outer corners. I just realised that's the shade I didn't want to use. Um, I'm going to use that in the middle of the eye. I'm actually going to take the upper left corner and this is like a dark royal navy blue. Then I'm just going back in with this turquoise shade and I'm going to blend the edges of those blues. Okay, so my new thing recently has been blending edges using white eyeshadows and that might sound a bit weird but I really find that for me it just softens the whole blend and makes everything look a bit more seamless. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just literally taking the first palette that I saw which has a white eyeshadow in it um, and this is the P. Louise palette and this is the shade Charm. So I'm just taking that on a Makeup Addiction brush and I'm just going to softly go over my edges with that. Now I'm cutting my crease again using the P. Louise base in the shade Zero. I don't know why I went like that. I kind of was showing you it's on the back of my hand, but whatever. And I'm going to cut my crease into a halo eye shape. Okay, now I have cut the crease. I kind of want to move on to a different palette. I don't want to keep using the blue one. So I am going to move on to 
the Amethyst Obsessions. So I'm going to start by taking the dark purple shade which is in the middle row to the left and I'm going to start by packing that on the inner and the outer corners. Now I'm going to go in with the top middle shade which is a shimmer and it's going to go just on the inner and the outer corners next to where I put down that deep purple. And all over the middle of my lid I'm going to be taking the bottom right hand shade which is a really beautiful like purple obviously but it's got pink reflex in it. It's just really pretty and I'm hoping it's going to come out on the eye how it looks in the pan. Okay, so I realised it's actually been a while since I did a look with a winged liner. So I think I'm going to do a purple winged liner with this look. So I am just going to take the Anastasia Violet Liquid Lipstick. Granted, this is not a Huda Beauty um, lipstick, but I didn't get sent a purple one as far as I'm aware. So I am going to take this one now. And I'm just taking the Anastasia 7B brush and I'm just going to start doing my wing. Hey guys, Lucy from the future here. Um, so I'm just doing that really cool YouTuber thing, you know, where you lose all your clips and it's really, really brilliant. So um, just thought I'd insert here just to say that I lost the clip of me doing my base, so my foundation and concealer and everything like that. Um, all I used was the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Not that anyone probably really cares anyway, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Anyway, so... Um, keep on with the video enjoy so next up is obviously powder and I actually do have one of the Huda Beauty powders this is the easy bake loose baking and setting powder in the shade sugar cookie I believe this one is just either their palest one or the translucent one I'm not actually entirely sure but this one should work on me because it looks very pale and I'm very pale so it's a win-win to go alongside that powder I also have the baking and blending brush it's a jewel ended brush I didn't actually know Huda Beauty did these so I am excited to use this as well and I just assume it's if I can open it. So I just assume that you use one end to pack on the powder under the eyes and then the other end to brush it away, I guess. I don't really know. I'm just gonna use whatever. <coughs> Not gonna lie, this actually smells really nice. It's only powder, but I've got loads of it in my hair. But it smells really good. Doesn't taste so great. Wouldn't recommend trying to taste it, but it does smell nice. First impressions on that powder. I actually really, really like it. It's so smooth on the skin. It's like so soft, even just touching it. But also when you're actually applying it, it's really soft too. So I do really like that powder and I will definitely use that again. To contour, I didn't actually get any Huda Beauty contouring things. Not that I know of anyway. No, I don't think I did. I'm, I got mostly eyes and lips. Um, so I didn't get any contour. So I'm just going to go in with the Morphe 8L Lo-Fi Highlight and Contour Palette. This is literally my favourite palette. You've probably seen me talk about this a million times and use it in most of my videos by now. But I really, really enjoy this palette. So that's what I'm going to use to contour with. Okay, so obviously next up is highlighter. I do have a highlighter palette from Huda Beauty. I'm really excited to try this. I've got the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette and this is so pretty. First of all, look at that packaging literally glows i'm obsessed with that so we have got four different shades in here we have the prep set sculpt flush i don't know what that is supposed to mean but i'm just going to use it as a highlighter i'm gonna go in with this top two shades here which are seychelles 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 and Fiji. <laughs> I was about to hold up the mirror, but it doesn't have a mirror in here, which is one thing I'm not a fan of. Okay, one thing I will say is obviously this looks gorgeous and it is glowing, but it is definitely more towards a more tanned complexion, I would say, because me right now being this pale, it's not really the shade I would go for in a highlighter, but once I was tanned, I'm sure this would look absolutely beautiful. So I would definitely give it another try once I've got a bit of fake tan on. Okay, now I'm gonna come back in and do my under eye eyeshadow. So I did actually remember I have got some brushes as well from Huda, so I am gonna use these to buff out my lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with the Sapphire palette and take the dark navy blue shade, and I'm gonna just keep that really, really tight to my lower lash line using the Huda Beauty Smoke and Smudge brush. Then I'm taking the Amethyst fist palette and I'm taking the top right hand corner shade and I'm going to buff out that blue. Okay so our second to last step is obviously lashes so I'm going for the Farrah number 12 lashes by Huda Beauty and whilst my lashes are drying down I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Trendsetter and then the Demi Matte liquid lipstick in the shade She-E-O. 
Shio. So that lipstick is definitely not the shade I'm after. I don't really know what I am after, to be honest with you, but I know it's not this. So I'm just gonna take this off and switch it over for a different one. So I switched over my lipstick for the liquid lipstick in the shade Crush. I'm still not 100% sure this is the color I was after, but I do think it looks better than the shade I had on before. So I'm gonna leave it as this for the time being because I am ready to get this makeup off my face and I've only had it on for like two hours. So to sum up my thoughts of the products I used in this video, I am really, really liking the Obsessions palettes. I think they are so cute. Like if you look at it in comparison to my head, it's literally the tiniest little palette. They are so cute and they are so good for like on the go if you're taking a palette to travel with because they also have a mirror in them and they've got a variety of colors in them as well. So I think they're really great for that. I also really liked the highlighting palette. Like I said in the video, it is probably gearing towards more tanned skin tones than someone as pale as myself but it is really pretty on the skin as well and it is glowing to the heavens so that's always a plus the lashes these lashes are beautiful if you can see these are the farah number 12 lashes i can say though that they are very very similar to the eldora false eyelashes m111 lash so if you're looking for an alternative to these lashes those are definitely a great dupe because they do look really really similar on the eye and both in the box as well so that's definitely a dupe for these lashes i really like the lip contour pencils i don't think you can go wrong with a lip pencil especially these ones they are so um silky what's the word i'm looking for like they glide on really nicely and have a really nice color to them as well so i really like these i do also like the lipsticks but obviously the two that i've put on aren't really the shade i'm looking for for this look but i mean they are really nice formula this is the liquid one i've got on right now and it is feeling a tiny tiny bit sticky i'm not gonna lie like when i put my lips together like there is a tiny bit of stick, but it's nothing major. It's nothing that I'm gonna go thinking about all day. So it, I can definitely get away with wearing it for a whole day. Oh, the powder. I already said I really like the powder, so I don't really have to say much else about that. I would definitely be using this powder again. But other than that, I think that is it. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of me in the future. It would really mean the world because we are so close now to 10K. I think we're literally just almost at 9k so we're only like a thousand away which is absolutely insane and I literally cannot wait to hit 10k it's going to be such a massive milestone for me don't forget you can also follow me over on my instagram which is at lsg makeup I will obviously leave it on screen like I always do I'll be really grateful to see you over there thank you so 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 much for watching as always and I will see you in my next video bye